Hello everyone, welcome again. And at this video, first we will start with CMS totally integration automation version 17. Double click and start the platform. And of course, the software of TIA portal for each version, it depends on your computer hardware, but it requires a really powerful PC. I suggest you to use at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. And if it's possible, i5, i7, Intel powerful CPU and it's a must, I think, to install the software on solid state disk. And it requires a lot of, you know, free space of your hard disk. So at least 500 gigabytes I prefer to use. And before we will start to our lecture notes I want to show you some screen of TIA portal such as installed software under this page you will get the information about the installed software with options so you can check the current service pack hotfix and update status of the software if you click here detailed information and you will get the products function module packages simulation uh, version and release and under installation of support packages there are some support packages already installed and time to time there will be new updates and you can click here download from internet to keep your software and PC updated for new projects Uh, for instance, the complete download for all available SSP files. Uh, let's click here. Uh, you need to log in first with free username and password to the support site. And it's downloading right now. And under components, it's detailed information. Operating system, computer name, Windows version and so on. So after you download latest hardware support package, Let's copy this zip file under folder let's create a new folder paste here and extract Via this way, if a new hardware released after you install TI Portal, you can download HSP and install with this button. 
and select the folder replace the existing one no okay because i have already downloaded and installed the hardware support packages also there are some updates ctop ups soft starter 3 rw5 series with new cpu et200 sp series we will select okay and install continue installation close all instance okay Let's close. And now continue button is activated. Also, there is additional tool used with older versions. TIA software update tool. But I think right now with new version, it's not possible to operate. Let's check the under Windows startup menu and the Siemens folder. Totally integrated automation updater. And after startup of Windows, it will automatically check when you go online over internet. It's checking the updates and related option package service pack and updates will be listed inside this table you can select download and install whatever you want it's trying to connect to siemens server a couple of years ago for older versions of ti portal it was working correctly but nowadays we will face some connection problems maybe due to addressing or linking whatever and right now installation of hsp is finished now i can restart by double click the current version with 17 And at this video, I will try to give some information related with Portal View and the Project View of TIA Portal. So at this opening screen, when you click the Browse, you can browse a folder and select the project file with extension AP17 or for library AL1715 
whatever and there is also compressed project extension file with zap17 for example if you create a new project you enter the name select path author comment create a new project and migrate project you can convert an old schematic manager or vcc flexible integrated step 7 project into new ti portal platform this is another topic of training because there are several rules and you need to check before make a migration of project and you need to check Sematic Step 7 CPU hardware site for GSD files and of course some of the modules not supported with TIA portal released from 2008 the new modules only supported for the old products you have to use Sematic manager for sure And you can use help system from here. You can change user interface language. During setup, you can select Chinese, English, German, and so on. And this is the portal view. On the left side, you will see some tabs like start. And some of them is passive, deactivated because we didn't open any project online and diagnostics is active before you connect to real system you can make your settings for pc communication interface ethernet for example after that you can search the network and list available devices plc hmi for example So it takes uh, really a lot of time to create a new project. Due to CPU high level utilization. Because of the Windows Defender. Uh, security and firewall and new project created on the left side under device and networks there are some wizards you can add some device and depends on your options installed you can add a controller step 7 1200 
or 1500 there are a lot of different product types and drive based controller the old type of 300 and 400 cpus and device proxy we will use to connect for example the semantic manager developed cpu and hmi side for comfort panel we will program in ti portal to take text and make communication and if you installed unified option you can add here mtp new series of hmis for the pc system if you installed runtime advance you can program WinCC. There's a software controller with these types. And for start drive, here you will see the supported family of Synamix drives. You can add a new device. You can configure networks under the portal view and it will be switched to project view Let's go back to portal view and under PIC and programming section let's create a new device for example controller CPU and 1517TF that means Technology CPU with fail safe function. And normally we prefer to work at the project view. The portal view is only the wizard page's shortcuts and easy to create and modify the devices inside your project. And the software updater still couldn't create the list and that's why I will wait at the meantime adding some device take a really long time than usual because the CPU utilization And after a couple of minutes, it's created and a new page will appear in the center of our laptop screen, PSC security settings. And for protection, especially for UPC UA communication, you should set up a password. Uh, there are some password rules, at least 8 characters and 1 number. At least 1 uppercase. Uh, 
and password for TIA project and PIC configuration data. Only allow secure HMI communication. Access level for CPU. And here you will see the blocks of the PIC right now. When you switch to details view as columns, you will get more information. You can show cross reference or project structure, but it's only limited functionality in the portal view. So let's check the motion and technology tab together. Right now there are no technology objects. You can create a new one. This is another wizard page. Also for Snamics with version 17 basic positioner enabled under start drive. Let's use technology function of CPU and create a synchronous axis with data block number 10 and additional information axis name template structure based on version 6 of technology object will be created if you have already experience with simotion it's a similar structure but there are a lot of differences between technology cpu and the simotion platform but it's really fast growing and developed by siemens there are a lot of useful functions with new firmware versions of step 7 1500 technology cpu so it will be switched by automatic to the project view let's go back to portal view and under drive parameterization first you need to create a drive it can be Snamix S120 control unit 320-2 with this firmware for multi-axis motion control. This is just an exercise for you to show how the devices will be created and modified with wizard page and under parameters function view when you double click and switch to the project view and on the left side under the tree view you see the details and items sub menu of the drive unit one and normally i prefer to use for developed our project or my program inside simotion scarf for drive side or starter instead of new start drive because there are sometimes box we were faced during commissioning on the field for the safety side or for the drive commissioning and i really don't like to work with start drive that's my opinion because it's not so good when you compare to classical scout 
So there are some wizard pages. There are some settings. Some of them you can configure in online mode. Some of them in offline mode. And it's working really slow, by the way. This is another reason I prefer to choose and work for Scout. And another tab, visualization for HMI device management. Let's create a new operator panel. Let's say TP1200. And as you can see here, from version 13 to 17, it's possible to program inside TIA portal 17. And if you are working with the old version of this product with different MLFP number, 0MC00, that means you have to program with TIA version 13. It depends on the hardware and the firmware side of the product. You can check the compatibility list under CMAS website. There is a tool for check software compatibility. After you create an HMI, it's possible to edit screen, tag alarms, there are some templates, connection and runtime settings. If you double click, you will go to project view again. And this is just like a summary of all of the project. And next step, online and diagnostics. You can search accessible devices. Before you create a new project, if you want to check the diagnostics of an online partner. And when you go use more and more time to time TIA portal, you will get used to these screens. For instance, first you select PC interface and Ethernet adapter. If you click start search, now it's scanning the network. And if it's possible, accessible nodes will be listed with device name, type, address. You can flash here to detect the correct hardware you will get online status information and so on so that's enough information for the portal view and recently used projects listed on this screen you can double click and open you can migrate some old projects under this menu you can select step 7 project or winsisable project and so on this is another topic and let's go switch the project view close all of the open windows And under project tree, devices and plant objects. When you right click, you can see project properties, project history, and used support packages, and required software products. 
support simulation if you want to simulate your program you need to select here under project menu there are some standard items save as when you click archive you will select target path let's say backup folder you can add date and time via this way you can easily copy and send the project backup to other colleague so if you have to use multi-user you can use project server to manage project define a server and work with cloud it's possible to plug in new type of cpu memory cards after you insert your card reader you can check under usb card reader or usb memory and you can work with memory card files with extension wld and you can format the memory card for step 7 with new cpus 1500 requires a smc cms memory card so with 1200 it's used internal memory and there is two way to use a memory card for copying a project from one cpu to another cpu and you can use a smc card as data that means for a program and there are some items of course on the menu edit view or going online with simulation and it's case sensitive if you click some cpu some of the items will be activated under online menu with extended go online we will commonly use this option to set up online communication settings and it's similar to define online and diagnostics before we will go into detail i just only open and show how it looks like in offline mode for downloading device extended downloading device backup from online device start stop cpu there are also shortcuts related to these functions right here search globally in your project and under options you can change the settings of TIA portal related with all of the options storage location check updates for daily and after a while our TI software updated listed the new version of product and of course it take time because there are a lot of options installed in my PC automation tool energy suite let's say download first and the next one 
It's a quick and good way to keep updated of your software. Simocode ES update to uh, start drive update. Some files are so big setup files. Start drive advanced. And you can select desired update for download. After it's completed, you can install and update to released for these options. You can check the downloads folder right here. Under Sematic, new files will be located here. Support packages is up to date. Okay. You can select check for updates daily. There are a lot of settings. For configuration. Or compile and it's divided into subgroups for example PSC programming for graph language and simulation for instance And the important setting for you, visualization, snap to grid, and resizing fit to screen during changing the device type of HMI. According to these settings, screens will be adjusted. Maybe later on we will talk about a little more and you can check support packages under options this is the same screen we have mentioned you can manage additional catalog files general station description files you can install here or you can check the project located GSD You can start Automation License Manager for managing license. You can create a library or connect a team center. Under the tools, you can configure external applications like, you know, the notepad reader or external executable files. You can use Windows menu to split editor space vertical or horizontal. You can get some help on installed software, the same screen, or show the help system to get some help related with TIA portal. And I suggest you to use at least Full HD HMI with resolution 
because there are a lot of windows located inside the main screen and for smaller resolution it's not possible to work inside TIA portal you lose a lot of time during closing opening a new screen and so on and also instead of standard 15.6 inch of laptop panel maybe you can use 17 inch of screen or additionally monitor on the desktop for your work and on the left side project 3 details view a lot of items located here on the right side there are some tabs located here you can open minimize maximize adjust the size of windows you can use float or collapse automatically or minimize maximize collapse like this with sliding windows or you can use fixed and arrange time to time There are some standard libraries installed with setup. For PIC site and HMI site, inside the project library locally you can create some types, functions, screens, whatever. And devices networks if you already use semantic manager it's similar network pro right here you can arrange devices and make some connections and under the properties you can adjust the settings IP address of device and device names You can assign the controller of drive unit interface 2, interface 1 Under topology view you can create profnet Topology, input and outputs. Like this. Uh, 
and for connections HMI connection you can define HMI connection or between two CPUs you can create a step 7 connection on the other hand possible to communicate over TCP IP or Modbus TCP you can define PTP connection or email connection and on the right side you can change the settings about connection or IO communication and you will see the details port in and out access point settings and assign device name show address labels and under device view you will go into more detail with PLC settings. You can add remote modules for analog and digital modules. You can change settings under the properties. For safety activation and settings interface Profibus for example you can create a new subnet or connect a Profibus line define address operating mode for startup settings, both 1200 and 1500 by default, it selected warm restart operating mode before power off. I prefer to change here to the warm restart run because if there is a failure and CPU goes to stop mode after power off and on, it will remain at the stop state and I don't want that and about proceed to actual configuration startup CPU even if mismatch if there is a module error on the right side of the CPU if you choose this setting and CPU will be go in run mode and configuration time it's like a wait time for slave for example the drive to set to start and ready state you can reduce here a little bit for example 10 seconds and on the 1500 cpus there is a mod selector switch but if you are using 1200 cpus there is no mod selector switch and that's why if you choose the other setting and CPU goes to stop mode for some reason module failure or you know rock station profinet profibus failure whatever after power off and on CPU will remain at the stop state so for 1200 it's not possible to set CPU to run at this case via mode selector switch because there is no one and maintenance guys have to go online with Simatic PC on TI portal to set the CPU run with this button or there is additional tool name as automation tool by Siemens
let's say automation tool Commissioning and service tool for schematic modules. You can download from CIOS. I think after version 4.0, it requires a license. You can download from this ID. I think there is a shortcut on my desktop. Semantic automation tool. Okay. And it's a program for setting the cpu stopping cpu downloading updates firmware updates downloading a project or setting ip address device name restoring a backup from device if the maintenance guy doesn't have tia portal installed in the pc this is a small tool you can download and send them to make a service or diagnostics. On the other hand, you can enable the web server option of CPU. These are possible operations with Siemens Schematic Automation Tool. Okay. Maximum cycle time, watchdog monitoring, communication load setting, system and cycle memory, special memory byte supported by CPU firmware. You can use clock bits for pass bits generating uh, output to the lamp or using in program to calculate some time dependent functions And information system looks like this. You can search. There are some folders, categories.
and you can change user management setting of web server function to the PIC you can create a administrator with password and there is a LCD display the first release it's pluggable and there are some settings related with CPU display for example standby mode display language and password for display user defined logo there are a lot of features of new cpus opc communication settings system power supply power segment we will talk about later on domain configuration ip forwarding connection resources table and runtime licenses for process diagnostic energy suite opc ua it depends on the options okay And these are for hardware settings of CPU when you select HMI and you can also configure the network connection settings for Profinet or Profibus of HMI. And for the drive side you can create drive click topology for controlling it here on the right side of your screen inside catalog you can drag and drop items line modules motor modules or terminal modules for instance and if you select one of them you will get information article number and the version a similar way under network view you can add new field device connected on profinet like distributed IO for example interface module with high feature functions ET200 SP
Okay. See you at the next chapter.